Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal and many of you have asked me about my opinion on taking pine pollen specifically for improving testosterone levels and I have to admit it looks pretty darn interesting. This seems to be like the uh, most hyped up supplement right now for boosting testosterone levels and as shown pine pollen actually has the highest levels of testosterone found in any plant. But really what's unique about pine pollen from what I found in my research is that this supplement seems appropriate not only for men but for females as well because uh, some of the main benefits from taking pine pollen as a supplement are that it's also going to improve uh, skin health, it's going to improve nails, and it's gonna help with keratin. But just how effective is pine pollen and does it come with negative side effects? That's what we're gonna discuss during this video and be sure to subscribe, give the video a like if you get value from it and let's jump right into it. Pine pollen powder is a fine yellow powder that's derived from male cones on a coniferous pine tree and it's been used for centuries in Chinese and Korean medicine. And the way that they derive the pine pollen is basically from pine cones. Like pine cones, just like you're used to seeing outside, there's millions of them so it's a little bit unusual to think like wow these pine cones that I'm seeing all the time there's actually something you can extract from it in order to boost testosterone levels. Sounds too good to be true but that really does seem to be the case because according to laboratory studies pine pollen contains amino acids, DHEA, phenylalanine, polysaturides, testosterone, uh, tyrosine, and vitamins B and E. So for those of you who are looking for better skin health, vitamins B and E, it also does contain zinc. So this looks like a really promising product specifically for skin health. However, the market that I think pine pollen is most appropriate for is going to be athletes, is going to be bodybuilders, perhaps if you're somebody who's looking to improve your body composition, whether that's build more muscle, lose fat, and the way in which it does that is specifically through improving testosterone levels. So it's going to improve testosterone levels, but not only that, it's going to help to um, achieve having a better endocrine system. And the way in which that's going to happen is by having a better ratio of androgens to estrogens. Because what's so about pine pollen is it'll work to help balance out the higher amounts of xenoestrogens. If you take a look at this picture, xenoestrogens, what are they and where are they hiding? You can see the common ones like pesticides, uh, canned foods, air and dust, air fresheners, hair dyes, perfume, sunscreen, and what so is you want to do your best to limit your exposure of these xenoestrogens which are in our environment and, and are absorbed in our body. So we're all subject to toxins in the environment that produced estrogen-like qualities and these are linked to a number of health conditions like um, fertility issues, specific cancers, and so forth. So I look at pine pollen like a very, very healthy supplement, but the question is, is just how effective is it going to be at improving your health because it has all these benefits. Furthermore, if you're somebody who is taking the supplement to achieve a better physique or improve your testosterone levels, you'll be happy to know that something unique about pine pollen is not only is it a supplement, but it's also a food. It's a pretty complete amino acid. It's filled with vitamins and minerals. So many people actually use pine pollen post-workout. Um, actually, in China, it's pretty commonly taken along with foods. People mix it with their shakes. People can sprinkle it as a seasoning on their cooking. And something really neat is that it can also be used topically, meaning you can mix the powder along with the cream and you can put it over like a rash or something sore and it should really help to uh, speed up the healing process. I have to say though, I'm a little bit skeptical about just how effective pine pollen can be at improving your testosterone levels because I have tried so many different uh, naturally occurring testosterone boosters in the past few years of which very few have even worked. Um, Tonkat Alley worked well for me, Tribulus worked well for me, but the majority of them really didn't do too much. Maybe because I'm not over age 50 or I don't have like low testosterone levels necessarily, perhaps that could be the reason why I haven't noticed the majority of testosterone boosters work. But with Pine Pollen, I have not used the supplement yet. I'm specifically going over my opinion of the supplement during this video. I'm going over the benefits, the side effects, the dosages. I'll, although I will be trying it in the future and letting you guys know just how I respond to it. But I want to put that out there that I really don't think you should have huge expectations when it comes to pine pollen. Um, if anything, take it for the overall health benefits because that's one of the other major benefits in that it's a very strong antioxidant. It also does help with anti-aging. Um, regarding boosting testosterone levels, something which I found a little bit interesting was when I looked into the powder and the way in which companies were recommending you supplement with it was that they were saying to use a lot more if you're going to use it for sexual performance specifically. Because what's so is with pine pollen, it also does contain arginine and that does boost nitric oxide levels. And when you're boosting nitric oxide levels, as a result, you should have better sexual performance and better libido. But it doesn't necessarily mean higher testosterone levels 
and more muscle mass gained. Um, as a matter of fact, I have gone through and searched for any study I could find on pine pollen's effects on boosting testosterone levels and I have not found anything. If you found something, then please do share with me in the comments below. I have as well browsed through anecdotes online. I've even looked on Reddit um, and I found a few people mentioning like it did uh, perhaps boost their testosterone levels. Somebody said, I've tried pine pollen and noticed it improves libido for sure, but nothing else out of the ordinary. It seems like people are maybe taking pine pollen for a couple of months and then they're getting off of it. Nobody mentioned that it really helped them with their gym gains or their muscle gains, more so when it came to like libido or when it came to mood, which was my experience a little bit with deaspartic acid, which as well is a supplement that is known to um, help with testosterone levels. And with deaspartic acid, I definitely felt that it slightly helped my mood, slightly helped my libido, but no real results when it came to the gym and building muscle or losing fat. What's really unique about pine pollen is that it's commonly sold in two different ways. It's sold in uh, the powder form and it's sold in a tincture. So a tincture meaning you take drops of it. And the good thing about tincture solutions is that it supposedly is going to get in your system a lot more effectively at improving your testosterone levels. According to anabolic men, so basically when you take pine pollen as a tincture and let it absorb through the mucous membranes into the bloodstream, you're literally getting a hefty amount of those androgens right into the blood and they don't have to go through the harsh conditions of the digestive tract. However, just note though that tinctures, if you buy them, they're almost always going to be an alcohol base, which is typically 40% alcohol. So the way you can look at it is use the powdered form if you're looking to get the health benefits from pine pollen, but use the tincture form in order for you to get the testosterone enhancing benefits. If you're going to go ahead and get the tincture, I would definitely recommend that you look at the label, understand how to take it in its entirety. Uh, don't go ahead and opening it and pouring it into a teaspoon. That is not what tinctures are for. They're such that you should be taking an amount, something like one to three milligrams when it comes to pine pollen. So what that will typically look like is 30 drops of the pine pollen solution would result in taking 1.5 milligrams. But you have to look at the ingredient label and they will say just how to take it and how many drops is going to be equivalent to one milliliter because it's going to depend. And there are of course different extracts. But what's Common with pine pollen is to take it twice a day. Some people are taking it once a day, but something really, really nice about pine pollen is that it also does have not only a mood uplifting effect, but as well will help you to reduce levels of stress. So I've seen a lot of people report taking pine pollen several times throughout the course of the day, even four or five times a day. And what they're getting is they're getting a little bit more energy. Uh, they're feeling a little bit more charismatic, a little bit less attached to the outcome of whatever work they're involved in and less stress. And I think we can all find ways to have less stress in our day, whether it's taking supplements, taking a nap, heck, I like walking my dog, just whatever helps. And pine pollen seems to be something which is going to help um, even if you take it fasted and doesn't really seem to keep you up at night. And if you're gonna go ahead and take the powdered form, um, take it as a, in a similar protocol as you were to take the tincture. So twice a day is good and common dosages include um, half a teaspoon of powder or one teaspoon of powder. Um, I would say you can go ahead and mix it with foods, mix it with smoothies. This is pretty common, although I don't think it tastes all that great. I have tried it in the past. So with pine pollen, be mindful that if you are trying to assess its effectiveness with respect to improving testosterone levels, you definitely want to give it at least three weeks. Don't go ahead, take it and judge whether or not you like it after one serving. Give it a few weeks, make sure that you're taking it in a protocol in which you can stick to uh, for your schedule in a way that works for you. And if you're looking for another testosterone booster, which actually does have some science backing it because pine pollen unfortunately doesn't, then I would strongly recommend you look into this supplement here called Tonkat Alley. I posted um, my experience after taking Tonkat Alley for 12 months in this video right here. Really hope you found this information helpful. Consider subscribing if you did, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you for your interest in nootropics.